sitting here with Emma Varg and we are at Sweden Rock and I just want to say your performance was fantastic. You have this really rich raspy voice that is just perfect for rock music and it was just a really great show. How did you feel up on the stage with the crowd here? Uh, I felt amazing. Um, it was an honor to perform first of all bands and it was really fun. Yeah, there there's always a lot of people at this festival so it's obvious a lot of fun to play here. Well, and you guys had the opening spot today. Is that, does it make you nervous to be the first one on the stage at this kind of a festival? Because it's about 35,000 people. Yeah, of course. Uh, you'd be silly to say that you're not nervous. Of course you're nervous. Yeah. But a good nervous. Oh, yeah. 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 Nervous. <laughs> and so you released um, Surrender in 2017. Yeah. How is that, how's that working for you right now? I mean, how's the, the fans reacting to the new music? Um, we get a lot of positive critique, uh, and every day we see that we got new fans, new listeners, so it's really going good, I think. Yeah. So, what got you into music? Um, I, I don't know. I, I, it's always been a natural thing for me. I've always listened to music, and I've always sang for and my family and friends, so I, I have no idea where it started. <laughs> And what about you? When did you, just, was it just kind of... I have played for a long time. I played in another Swedish band called Lambrette, we toured a lot. So um, I have always worked with music in some kind of way, I think. So I, my father was a musician. I started visiting him at the studio when I was eight, nine. So, so. It, I, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I remember the first time I heard a Swedish band outside of ABBA, but for rock, was mine was Europe, and it was kind of like, oh, oh but then everyone today is kind of like, oh, Europe, that's that, oh, the final countdown, but then they opened my eyes to so much other music I would have never heard. I'm like, Thin Lizzy and Deep Purple, these bands yeah. that, you know, we just didn't hear of really in the States, and, and so I've, I've stayed following the Swedish scene since then, and there's just so much good music here, and yeah. it's like you're born... To play music. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Thank you. I mean, do you? Yeah. Does it seem like you ever like kind of like you're really pressured into like, oh well, you that's the scene and you should really be in music. Is that kind of how it is around Stockholm or Gothenburg or? Um, hard to say because I wasn't born and raised in Stockholm and Gothenburg. I just moved there when I was an adult, um, so I never felt a pressure of that kind. Um, but I'm sure it exists. Yeah, I, I came from a small village, and they, and they, we had two things to choose from. Either you try to become a soccer player, <laughs> or you start in a band. <laughs> and I made the obvious choice. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so, for so me, it was the other opposite. Yeah. Um, I was the weird one that was doing music. Mm -hmm. So are you touring now, or just kind of you put the album out, and you know, Sweden Rock is kind of what you kind of have right now, or is there a tour in the plans? We're making a few gigs this summer that are really good, a few other festivals and stuff. So, But this was our first gig now for a while, I think. Yeah. We, we did Couple some. Yeah. Yeah. So it was really good to get started again. Yeah. yeah. Very refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> and so you guys are part of the NEMIS, the New Music in Sweden stage, kind of the event that they voted to have people here, correct? Yeah. And how does that make you feel when your fans were the ones that actually voted to put you here? Well, I don't even know what to say. It's so fun for me because uh, I've been doing this kind of music for 10 years. Um, so to see that people still care and still want us to play here, that's amazing. Now, have you toured outside of Sweden before? Um, yeah, we're different. Yeah, you know, the constellations, yeah. Yes. Any plans to do it now? Yeah, obviously, obviously. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I know because like uh, Amaranth has come through, and we just, I mean, uh, we're in Seattle, and so we've had Evergrey, and we've just had so many Swedish bands and Finnish bands in the last six months, yeah. where it's just amazing that the music that's coming, then the tours that are leaving out of here, and it's, yeah. you know, we've just had uh, Malmo's uh, Royal Republic just came to the States for the first time, and oh. they hit the festival circuit, and they had a really good reaction to them, and it's, so it's, it's seeing more and more bands coming out of Sweden, so I'm really hope to see you guys yeah, come our way. We, we would love to. Yeah, yeah, we would love to come. Yeah. So if you had a dream tour of an artist to tour with, who would you say you'd like to be out on their tour with? Oh my god. I always the same answer and it's... Oh, <laughs> so okay, yeah. I, 
there's one band that's better than everyone. It's Linkin Park for me. Oh, has nice. always been. Nice. And yeah. they've got new music. So. Yeah, yeah, really good also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it would be awesome to opening for Kiss. Oh, oh that, that would yeah. be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't big complain. Dreams. <laughs> big dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have big dreams. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And so you're, you've are you been making music what, about 2005, I think, was that where I read that you'd been kind of put your foot out there? Yes, in this constellation. Okay. That's right. So you've been doing it for a while and you're breaking out. What advice do you have for other artists that are kind of in your same area and that have been out there for you know, a few years or just getting out there? What advice do you have for them? Because I know the industry has really changed. What would you offer to them? Um, I would tell them to be patient and to never give up. Uh, and it's a tough business. It's a really tough business. That's why I didn't do this for a couple of years. Um, but you <laughs> put in a lot of work. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yes. It's it's not just playing the gigs or sitting home no. waiting for the gigs to come. You have to actually put your heart to it. I yes. Think. Yeah. If you don't love what you do, uh, it's a tough business for you. Then you can't be able to manage. Um, because it's a different world now with the social media and things like that. So you have to really love what you do. Now, with the new album, Surrender, did you learn anything about your music or did it evolve in a way that you didn't expect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it, it always does that when we're yeah. writing together. Yes, absolutely. You never know where you're starting with. Um, so absolutely, yes. And how long did it take to write and record? It took about half a year, I think. Yeah, I produced like it that. and we wrote it together, mm -hmm. the whole band. So uh, I think it took a half a year. Yeah. Yeah. And so you produced it. Did you work with anybody else on the album? No, no. We, we had a really good guy that mastered it for us. So uh, Jack is really good and makes a lot of different hard rock bands actually. Mm -hmm. So that was the only one, I think. And we have a, a few uh, writers, actually. We have yes. uh, extended, uh, external writers. Uh, from a single, Mother Mary. Uh, yeah. We have great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. really good song. song. I was yeah. actually, I, it's been stuck. It's one of those kind of where you get like the earworm and it just sticks oh, in great. it. And you, it yeah. just keeps going and it's such yeah. a great song. Yeah. And are we doing it right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great song. And that's why I say I'm like, I love coming to Sweden Rock because I'm always finding artists that you don't get exposed to. And so it's, you come here and you come with the open eye, but I'm always looking, okay, which bands are from Sweden? Who's from Norway? Who's from Denmark, Finland? Because I want to catch that, that sound that you have here is so special and it's so different than what we get in America is very still mainstream, and but everybody seems to sound a lot alike. And yeah. you guys stand out because you have a different sound and it's so different. So yeah, yeah, Thank it's, you. It's, yeah. yeah I'm like, yeah, that song is always <laughs> stuck in my head. So <laughs> it's a great thing to experience. Yeah. So. Yeah. So thank you for your time, and again, the show here was fantastic. The crowd it was really hyped for you guys. So thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, very thank you. Much. and enjoy. Are you guys staying for the rest of the festival? Yeah, yeah, yeah we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it'll be a great time. Yeah. 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 And hopefully, it won't rain anymore. No, <laughs> no, no, no more rain. Sweet amounts. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Right, great, thank you.